Solomon Islands. Solomon Islands and American Samoa taking the field for the next phase of this Oceania Rugby Sevens here at North Sydney Oval. Thanks very much for joining us on Club Rugby TV. I'm joined by Dave Campbell and Dave. Both these sides showed a fair bit of heart in their earlier matches, but couldn't quite get the result. Yeah, that's right, Swaney. They, they put up a fight. I think Solomon Island, they were quite courageous against Samoa. Um, look at American Samoa. Got some things to work on. This uh, round of the tournament will be, I'd say, a lot more entertaining and a lot more even. Um, there's a few walkovers. We saw the Australians were fairly impressive against Tahiti recently. But uh, very evenly matched teams out there. Both keen to prove a point. Yeah, we're getting to the business end now. Our four semi-finalists, Samoa in the Cook Islands and Blue. Australia v Tonga. And we're seeing the runners-up part of the Goal. draw here. It's almost ready for a start. <laughs> Leslie Newmoana from Solomon Islands gets us underway. And oh, immediately dropped, but knocked backwards by American Samoa. And now they'll spin it wide. They've got a mismatch out here. They opt to go back the short side. Seven, and that's uh, Ross Poyer. Now it comes across for Soy from American Samoa. And they're using the width of the field. This is something they didn't do very much earlier. And now a two on one. Shows, goes himself, American Samoa. It's a good run by Vaki. So Samoa already looking a lot more dangerous than the previous round. Just lays it back on the inside, a little chip ahead. Well, let's go Cleaned up that. by the Solomon Islands, though. Ty Magino. Oh, almost a big hospital pass. Absolutely cleaned up there by Okaseni. And it was a knock forward. So we'll have a scrum down here on the Solomon Islands 10 metre line. Yeah, both teams just trying to uh, feel each other out early on. Uh, not going at, at full speed. They both had a, a run out this morning. Already they look better for Couch. it. Touch. Pause. Engage. The American Samoa and the first crack at it. Put away. They like to go wide. Oh, just lost the handles on it that time. Yeah, that was Vaki in a wasted opportunity. And that was a bit of a theme of their previous match. Yeah, just couldn't quite get the basics right. But they're looking to. Crouch. Finish this tournament on a high. Touch. Pause. Engage. Tagajini so, picks up the ball. That's the Miano. Puts a little kick through. And now he's flying. There's no one back there. It's a foot race. He should get there though. But Kielak ran past it. So early opportunity for Sullivan Islands missed. American Samoa on the back foot. And just popping it now between hands. Shimmy's out of one and pops it back to Poya, Poya caught in the in goal, pumps it downtown, there's no one back there. So Solomon Islands coming back to clean it up. Foot Done race. very well by Manau. No, that's Kamaki. And now we've got Tai Magino. Oh, pops it back to the American Samoan player. That's Vaki, the man who dropped the ball, trying to make amends. Now back for the centre. Barky again, and Collins is in the mix as well. Throwing the ball around, hot potato stuff. He comes across to Orkinsini. He tries to straighten the big fella. Now winding up here. He's almost through. He's got nine with him, Collins. He's not going to need him, though. An American Samoa draw first blood. Wonderful try there. Peter Francis Masoi runs it round to make the conversion easier. Well, it was a hot potato. It was a standoff. And finally... American Samoa get some points on the board through Masawi and should make the conversion comfortably. Swaney, this is a more confident team than we saw uh, only about an hour ago. Yeah, we saw American Samoa up against the Cook Islands earlier and they really struggled. The Cook Islands put some serious points on them, but now this is a definitely a more confident side. They're easing into this afternoon of Sevens Rugby. The Oceania Rugby Sevens here at North Sydney Oval. It's Two a cracking gold. day. 
Substitution to gold. As we see a substitution here from the Solomon Islands. All good. There's Stuart Biabi being on. pulled from the field. When you're ready. Starting to get a few kids on the hill over on the eastern side of here at North Sydney Oval. It's good crowd building in as Masali makes a conversion. It's 7-0 to American Samoa. And now Solomon Islands on the attack, the loose ball. That's Bakila. He had a chance earlier over around the ball. And now they start to work their way through. Good run there by Manua. Oh, didn't release. Holding. No, that was a silly error. And it's taken quickly by American Samoa. So now Poya gets it out. They're just looking for the space. Pops it back on the inside. It's Poya now back to Masoi, the try scorer. And now the captain, Lapin, through. Back across. There's Masoi again. It's a lazy ball along the ground. Cleaned up pretty well there by Poya. Now the captain straight through. David Laban goes around and scores under the point for American Samoa. They'll take the score along to 12 nil with a kick to come. Yeah, too easy there from American Samoa. Just used the space beautifully. Got numbers around the ball. A few little pop passes and sliced the Solomon Islands up. Yeah, it's not the most structured play for American Samoa. The support play is very good. They're just running on that spot looking for that hot potato ball. The so makes a conversion. It takes it along to 14 nil. But they do have a spring in their step. Unfortunately, that trophy won't be going to one of these blue. teams this year. Five blue. Five blue. But a little bit later, we'll have Samoa v. the Cook Islands and Australia playing Tonga yeah, for a spot in the final. Right now, it's American Samoa and the Solomon Islands going head to head on a beautiful afternoon. Sure, little kick by Masala. It's cleaned up there by Sinunu. And 14 nil. Solomon Islands not out of it yet. They're going to have to be the next to score. There's the crowd just kicking back. A couple of beers in the sun. Oh, it wouldn't be anywhere else but the Doug Walters standard North Sydney Oval on a beautiful day like today. Back five. Crouch. Stay, stay, stay. Touch. Pause. Engage. Not as intense in. these scrums as we've seen from the other sides. But towed through by the Solomon Islands now. So, American Samoa on the back foot. And a little bit of footwork and a big don't argue. A couple of big don't argues. That's Masoi going for there a bit from of a run. Masoi, of course. Laban lays it back on the inside to Poya. And now they'll go back out to Masoi. Collins is with him. Didn't use him. There's a few ragdoll tackles going on out there. Another now they're cross. looking for space, and there's no one on the outside here defending. But the Solomon Islands do well to get back. Oh, just Vantage. lost in the tackle there. So advantage Vantage to the over. Solomon Islands. It's already over. That's how quickly the advantage gets used up here in Sevens Rugby. The bell of half time sounding in the distance. One last chance to try and square things up. Solomon Islands, this is courageous stuff. Good run by Tamua, and floats it back. American Samoa nice. desperate to keep them scoreless in the first half. They've got numbers to the right if they use it quickly. It comes Neat. across for Bakila. The chip oh. and chase, he tried it earlier. He's got a lot of gas, the young man. He's going to get there first. He's got to settle it down. It looks good for Bakila. I don't know whether he grounded it. It's the a knock, knock on. Knock on. And that's half time. Oh. Entertaining stuff here at North Sydney Oval between American Samoa and the Solomon Islands. American Samoa leading 14 points to nil. The exciting finish to that half. Yeah, look, much more spirited rugby from both teams uh, after their, their early hit out this morning. Uh, Solomon Islands, Thank you. they would have made things interesting. They're only down by two converted tries, or as we've seen today, though, Andrew Swain, the uh, conversions are proving to be valuable. On before. Extremely. Blue. We saw uh, the Papua New Guineans and the Tongans going head to head earlier. There was only a a missed conversion in that, and possibly the most entertaining game we've seen today. But this has been not a bad fixture either between two desperate sides.
as you can see, the it's an official qualifier for the Rugby World Cup Sevens in 2013 in Moscow, this tournament today. Yeah, the Russians getting involved in rugby. It's good to see. They've got uh, all the big events coming their way, the Russians. Got the World Cup. They've got the Olympics. They've got the World Cup soccer. It's uh, a good time to be in Moscow and sipping on some vodka, no doubt. The next couple of years is going to be great. It just shows that Rugby World Cup Sevens and, well, Sevens in general is a global sport now, particularly with the inclusion in the Rio Olympic Games in 2016. Yeah, it's a significant moment for the sport. The stakes have definitely been upped, and I think the funding from the the, uh, the lesser nations, but teams like the United States, expect them to put a very good sevens team together in the next decade. Well, they are, of course, the defending Olympic champions of rugby, the USA. They are back in uh, what, 1908. 1908, that's right. So they'll be wanting to defend their Olympic gold. We saw them finish top of the medal count. Was they, were they top or was it China that was top? I think it was USA. Finished yeah. top of the medal count in London. Uh, USA, I think, got the chocolates. But yeah. China were top in Beijing, as expected. Blue. We're about to see the second half get underway between American Samoa and the Solomon Islands. Good little short kickoff. And very well batted back there. But it's clean bowled him. And it's Solomon Islands ball. Over. So Solomon Island throwing the ball around. Must be the next to score. They take it up. Good run there for Batumua. Starts to straighten. Still going. He's got the arm released. Numbers away. Good team chat at half time. Must have been by Solomon Island. So they've come out firing. And now they've got a mismatch. Just trying to get the ball to a free set of hands. This is peculiar. He's an excitement machine. Almost scored twice in the first half. Looking across for Sanua. A dangerous pass. It's going to go out and be picked up there by... Maga Tatua to threaten the chip and chase. Oh, beat the first, beat the second. Looking for a big shoulder charge there was the American Samoan defender. <laughs> Leslie Nibi Mimino goes back for Tamua. They've certainly got their own brand of rugby, Solomon Islands here. Now they've got space down the left hand touch line. That's Pekela. Goes on the inside. This is the best lead up we've seen from Solomon Islands. And Sianua starting to straight, goes to zigzag. Big. Number 10 for Solomon Islands. They're going to score. Curly Kamaki under the post. Oh, Curly scores the try. There was some Curly running earlier. A good lead up from Solomon Islands. And they're right back in this match. Well, they deserve that, Swaney. They came out, they had a, a spring in their steps since half time. It's a unique brand that they bring along to North Sydney Oval today, but it's starting to prove effective here in the second half. The conversion successful, 14-7, and all of a sudden we have a, a very tight contest on our hands. Exciting stuff here at North Sydney Oval. It's 14 points to seven. The Solomon Islanders there are sitting on the sideline, looking very relaxed. Yeah, Thomas Sinew was, uh, was instrumental in the lead up there. He tried the zigzag, got it over the 22. Blue. And Curly Kamaki support play. It's just what the doctor ordered. So an unusual kick is a restart. They've gone deep. Found some space too. Yeah, not a bad kick in the end. Brought down by uh, Jeffrey Rowe. Good tackle as well. Just outside the 22. So the stakes are up. American Samoa deciding to swing the ball to the near touch line. That's Laban, the captain. Starting to go backwards. He's going to have to straighten up here. Someone's going to have to straighten up. They're going side to side at the moment, just trying to find a little gap in the Solomon Islands defence. And they do bursting through there was Masoi. Try score a fraction high, referee electing to play on. He stuck the arm out Seven. for advantage. Oh. Play. It's just popped out the side now. And cleaned up in midfield by American Samoa. Masoi now, Iopo. Oh, yeah, Iopo. It's Masao the try scorer. He's been busy. He's been one of American Samoa's best. Now some play down the right-hand side. Laban, the captain, straightened. 
and gets it back in American Samoa. A well-deserved try with a lead-up. It was Iopo in the end, I think. It was a try to American Samoa nonetheless. It's a very stagnant build-up. Uh, both sides that very big on the uh, sort of the hot potato running on the spot scenario. Poya the try scorer. No. Row. Row. The try went to. So, nice little unstructured play there from American Samoa. And this is to put them 21 points a, to seven ahead. No, the score remains 19 points to seven. It wasn't a bad strike. Solomon Islands now all ahead of them. So they trail 19-7. Yeah, the Solomon Islands were well and truly in this when they scored their try early in the second half. But American Samoa now... Starting to show their, assert their dominance. He's Just to looking look. for space. You need to have good vision to play sevens rugby. And the American Samoans at this stage do. They've seen the mismatch down here on the left. Busting away from the tackle. It's Okasini and he'll score the try for American Samoa. Yeah, all a bit easy then. They've had the wind taken out of their sails, Solomon Islands. Good try by American Samoa, though. They're down to 24 to 7. Both teams starting to throw it around a bit, though. Yeah, why not? So from the sideline, and a pretty similar one on the other angle. That one's been hooked to the left, so the scores remain. See the flags of all the nations taking part in this Oceania Sevens flying around North Sydney Oval. It's great to see. And right now we're seeing American Samoa and the Solomon Islands going head to head, brought down heavily from behind. Shane, blue, off your feet. Straight off his feet. Yeah, again, and now it's a bunch, you know. Bit of static play here from the Solomon Islands, just trying to work the ball laterally to find some space, and they do. Straight into the gap. Has he got the pace? Can't get the ball away. It's lost forward. Knock on. Unfortunate there from Shane Yee. He'd made the break, and it was a good one at that. But unfortunately brought down and just lost it in the tackle. Yeah, he's been busy since coming on, Shane Yee. He's got a bit of toe. Mark, see you guys. And even a bit of puffing there from the referee. It's, uh, it's a tough game, sevens for all involved. I mean, the ball boys had a really big workout yesterday oh. running up and down <laughs> to fetch a few Touch. out of the fig tree here in North Sydney. Touch. Oh, it must be Pause. tough for the refs Engage. as well. They need to, a fair bit of power aid and a fair bit of water during the breaks also. Oh, a big contact there in midfield as the full-time siren entry. sounds. Oh, and that's Four, a entry. That's a penalty. And American Samoa will try to run it out here. Big pass to the left-hand touchline. And now a bit of space for American Samoa. Loses it in the tackle, though. And that'll Knock be full-time. American Samoa winning this one. Okay, 24 guys. points to seven over the Solomon okay. Islands. Yeah, much better performance there from American Samoa. Uh, spirited. They played a lot more like a team. I think Solomon Islands were also entertaining. Uh, they got off to a terrific start in that half, and they'll be happy with that. Uh, but American Samoa deserved winners. So I hope to, to uh, speak with the skipper. Testing one, two, three. Hope we get an interview with Tony Lewis soon with the uh, American Samoa skipper. And Pat McCutcheon joins me, Pat, former Australian representative in the sevens form of the game. Pat, uh, how have you found today? Oh, today's been sensational. So far, looking around, the skill and execution's been right up there, and especially the intensity. Uh, you definitely notice in the more professional teams out there, don't you? Yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to, uh, to those guys having a run. Australia did it fairly easily earlier on. 
Matt? Yeah, look, I think they just played a smart game. They kept them down in the 22 and really isolated them and put the pressure on them to turn over the ball and they really capitalised on that. So I think the game plan of Australia's was, was smart looking at their opposition. And American Samoa, good to see uh, that they played a much better performance than earlier on in the day and they'll, both, both them and Solomon Islands, they will go away with their heads held high. Yeah, definitely. I think they would have been disappointed in the, in the first round, but look, they came out there and, uh, you know, they, they got the tries on the board and obviously the result they were looking for. Something to look forward to in the future.